so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you're doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code at this site so this is another gfg potd we are going to solve the problem k pangrams the problem is very simple you have been given a string you have been given a string as your input right now you have to tell me whether it is possible to convert it into a pangram whether it is possible to convert it into a pangram in at most k operations right so let us understand some words what is the meaning of pangram a pangram is a string which contains all alphabets which contain all alphabets from a up till z right i hope i'm clear here now what about this one operation what are the number of operations in one operation what you can do is we can choose an alphabet choose an alphabet convert it into another alphabet convert it into another alphabet that another alphabet can be a part of string cannot be a part of string that is your wish you can convert a to z a to y anything can happen you don't have any restriction you just have to choose the alphabet and do it right but it should be at most k operation your operation should be less than equals to k right how will you solve it so the problem is actually very easy so i'm not taking a test case because writing a test case for all the letters is very difficult here right so let us take a first test case and analyze it so suppose my test case given to me is hello world and let us take all the letters as small right because it has been given so hello then space it is a space here and then world now the first thing to notice first thing to notice that this is a white space this is a white space the spaces cannot be operated can not be operated so we cannot use an operation over the space if a space is there we cannot convert into an alphabet we can only convert an alphabet into another alphabet right okay so what we can do is the problem is like basic just maintain a count array just maintain a count array or you can maintain a count map that would be easier so let us take a map so what will happen h will be paired with one here then e will be paired with one here then l will be paired with one here then l will be paired with one here then o will be paired with one l will be paired with two sorry this will remove right then w will be paired with one right then o will be paired with two now r with one L will be paired with three now, and D will be paired with one, right? So these are all the letters. These are all the letters. Now, if you see the concurrent length, the existing length, the length which is useful to us is only H E L L O W O R L D. This space is giving me no benefit, so I cannot count the length of this space. So what we can do is, when we are updating our map array, we just keep a counter length equals to zero, and we say length plus plus. Whenever there is not a uh, white space we say length plus plus after that after this for loop executes you will say if my length is less than 26 then it is no way possible to get an uh, pangram right so I will search just return false but what if it is greater than equal to 6 then also there are some considerations you have to check the unique characters here you have to check the unique characters here. What are the unique characters? The only occurrence, right? So where the map value is returning one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven unique characters in total. So you have to say seven plus k. That is unique plus k. If this value is greater than or equal to 26, then yes, it can be converted. So return true. Otherwise, return false. Right? Because if the unique characters are there, it is obvious, right? Do you want L to be L into your pangram? So if you get L into the pangram, you can update this or you can update this and you can update it, right? You can do anything like you can update this and this both this or not this and not this this. You can do anything, but you need one L. So you will not update the first one, right? So unique plus K should be greater than equal to 26 for true. Otherwise, it should be false. That's all that is all right so what is the time complexity i'm using so i'm actually using an o of n log and time complexity because i'm inserting elements into the map right but that is sorted right that does not matter okay so let us try to compile and run it let us try to code it down
so before starting with the code it's my sincere request to you to please subscribe to the channel because it really motivates me and pushes me to like bring out or more amazing content right so please do consider subscribing and liking this video so let us get started so this is our coding section just you have to do some things first create an unordered map let us take off intent only i will just map it map the cat to the end only right now int length this length is equal to zero right now but what does it length mean the length is equals to this length which can be converted right so alphabets no white spaces now for auto it in str what will you do if it equals to equals to white space just continue we cannot do anything there otherwise mp of it minus a plus plus right agar if mp of it minus a is equals to one then my unique is equals to one right so let us take int unique equals to zero currently and if it is one then unique plus plus after the loop ends if my length is less than 26 I have no other option to return false right otherwise return unique plus k greater than equal to 26 this is your answer right let us try to compile and run it what does this mean if this is if this condition is valid return true otherwise return false oh it is running false why is it running false Okay, so I got the problem. We are not updating the length. So length plus plus. Every time you encounter a non, uh, non white space character, you have to increment your length as well, right? So let us try to compile and run it. It is working fine. Let us try to submit it. It is working fine. So thank you for watching. Hope you liked it. And 224 days streak, a really long streak, gray sky, right? So we'll meet tomorrow. Till then, uh, stay tuned and keep coding. Thank you. Have a nice day.